Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be trying out Janna versus Lissandra. Should be pretty interesting. Let's first take a look at her star powers. So when you play a cost reduced card, reduce the cost of the top two cards in your deck by one. So this can start a really nice snowball of you play a cost reduced card, and then you get some more cost reduction for other cards in your deck. And every time you're playing a cost reduced card, you just getting more cost reduction so it's pretty good you just need to make sure you can start that snowball with playing a cost reduced card then we have plus one starting mana again when you play a cost reduced card grant the weakest ally one one so for janna it's all about always playing cost reduced cards because that triggers both of your star powers and really just starts snowballing giving you a lot of scaling and just playing a lot of your cards for free now for the relic setup we're going with we're going with Packed Powder plus Scourge of Stash. So both of these have Plunder. I cost two less. So we can hit the enemy Nexus, trigger that Plunder, and we can then play Janna for free, which then will count as a cost reduced card. Then we have Found Fortune. Play, draw the highest cost card that costs less than my base cost, grant it an epic item, and reduce its cost to zero. So when we play her, we're also getting another cost reduced card from the Found Fortune. So right away, we're triggering those effects and we're just starting that snowball rolling. Now for the Packed Powder, we also have, I have 1-1 one, one for each different round you've damaged the enemy Nexus. This is more of like a little bonus. We're normally gonna be trying to damage the enemy Nexus every round, so it can give Janna some good scaling, but that's not really the point. It's just a better version of the Scourge's Stash, which is why we're using it. Now, if you appreciate all this daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. Also, thank you to everyone that's been going out and checking out the other channels especially the VODs channel. It's really blowing up recently, getting a lot more views and subscribers. So thank you to everyone that's going and checking those out. If you want to check out my other channels, click the description down below. All right, let's get into it. Support champion, let's see what we can get. So Heimerdinger, Flash of Brilliance. That's pretty good. Making the enemy discard, refilling our mana. That's not bad. Ruthless Predator, Sigils of the Storm. Renekton with Scout, Bloodthirsty Marauder. I think let's go here for Heimerdinger. I think this could be a pretty good setup for us. All right, allies have Overwhelm in my sights. New student. Overwhelm's not bad, but I think I want to try to get something a little bit stronger. I don't really want to honestly deal with any of these, unfortunately. Yeah, I think let's re-roll again. All right, we can go for the memory game. That's fine. Gold chest, shop. Not too bad right there. This giving us some more draw with that preservium might be pretty good. 3-3. Three, three. Okay, I don't want any of those items, actually. Uh, let's... Yeah, that's not bad. Gain some more draw. And we can get this here. You know, play this for free would be pretty good. Doubling dice is kind of pointless because once we play it, we don't have any mana left. So we could use it as an extra way to get some mana fest, but don't think that really matters. Celestial Wonders actually isn't bad because that is some built-in cost reduction. And I want to save our extra rerolls for up here. I would like to hit the Ethereal Remitter and potentially get it where all cards cost two less just so that we're essentially always having cost reduction, which would be amazing. Yeah, control is really strong into Lissandra, so I will actually get those spells. And yeah, we won't bother here. So let's try to go up top. It that stairs is a little scary, but let's let's see what we can do. Up first, we have Zephyr Sage with secrets hidden by Frost. All right, let's see. We have our Janna, that's nice. Let's get rid of the Sump Dredger. I do like the Divine Whirlwind, but I think I'll hold off for right now. We will hold on to the Howling Gale, though. Oh, perfect. Oh, well, I guess these are three costs. We can't quite play them yet. They'll never see me coming. My training is unconventional. They picked the wrong row. Tales of our past are seeds for our future. Shh, quietly. Let us party, most hearty. Closing in on the mark. All right, so we don't want all of our units to die. 
Got to get past me. We need to be able to attack and get our plunder effect off. So I think we'll just block with that one. My ends. All right, let's go ahead and kill that unit. And we can just bank that mana. That'll be all right. So if they don't have any elusives... All right, epic item. That's pretty good. My tempest shall punish the wicked. My gifts cannot be refused, for they are not given. That's actually not too bad because she still should cost nothing. Uh, let's play this. We can just updraft that one. Fill your lungs and cry, Janna. Storm unrelenting. <laughs> this goes off twice now. All right, this is five damage. I Those blade scouts are pretty rough. Wind. Uh, yeah. Let's make Let the enemy discard some cards. That sounds pretty good. So we could use our true shot, but sure, let's get rid of some of these units at least. A gentle breeze to ease your burden. So the enemy did have a pretty big advantage being able to play a lot of units in those first couple rounds. The Zephyr heralds the squall. This will be some good blockers, though. Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. Not a fan of that uh, elusive. Let's play Let our slipstream, see what we get. Your hand. Okay, so a divine whirlwind. Can we pair these together to kill this unit? So this is going to deal four. This is also going to deal four, so yes, we should be able to kill that card. A gentle breeze to ease your burden. My vortex shall consume you. Down from the trees. All right, that's not too bad. So we are slowly turning things around. Uh, deal three to a unit. Sure. Let's just Let whittle down all of their, all of their units. Never see me all right, we can play the sum dredger. Get rid of the true shot. The time for calm has passed. Now the tempest awakens. Now Janna will be pretty rough into to ease your burdens. Uh, Lissandra, because as you see, we're just playing so many spells in a single round. And Lissandra really is going to punish that. Uh, sure, we can kill this unit. A gentle breeze to ease your burden. We might just be able to open attack and end the game. Draft guide your hand. Face the whirlwind. So yeah, we can just attack like this. And if they can't stop us, this is game. A gentle breeze to ease your burdens. Yep, Let GG. Guide your hand. All right, so that went pretty well. I do like that damage to the enemy nexus. It is pretty cheap, so often we can play this for free. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and grab this here. All right, so... Game start, spend all of your mana to summon random turrets. Pick a player to discard their lowest card to draw three. Yeah, that's not really gonna be the best. Uh, pick one of two spells, create in hand. They cost zero this round, repeat this two more times. So this would be a lot of cost reduction. The only issue is that it's really expensive. 
So that is pretty rough. Production surge would probably be the best just to have this at the start of the game, but I actually do want to play with this and test it out. So we might never actually get to play it because it's so expensive, but it could be fun. Alright, Avrosian Trapper. They're going to capture our strongest unit every round. Really going to be annoying. Uh, and Frost Gathers. Uh, we can get rid of both of these. They're good, but a little bit too expensive for our opening hand. The good thing is we should be able to play our Janna round one. All right. Never mind. I was thinking we can attack and we're going to have two units so they can only block one. Right. Yeah, should have just passed and let them play something. Brothers born from Saturn. Let's get to work. Keep it up. Let's go, people. All right, so we can kill that unit. So again, we're going to risk passing. We want to play this unit right here, but we don't want to play it and have them immediately capture it. So we will risk passing. Stand with me by the light, as my ancestors did. Now our celebration can truly begin. Let's see how you handle this. All right, not too bad. Uh, let's... Oof, that's tough. I guess let's you move both of those. The Zephyr heralds the squall. Alright, so we can actually play this right away. That'll be fun. Silence of followers. Sounds good. It's <laughs> so many cards. Oh my word. <laughs> All right, that's a lot of cost reduction. We can play this, make them discard even more cards. And yeah, the top cards in our deck are just going to be completely cost reduced down. Storm unrelenting. Answers. I have them. The time for calm has passed. Now the tempest awakens. Let this draft guide your hand. Draw a landmark or destroy a landmark. Uh, I don't want this to be the last card we play because then we're going to get a fleeting copy of it. Although I suppose it could be better than that. Uh, yeah, we'll just end right here. A gentle breeze to ease your burdens. Oh, we have another one. Alright, so it's going to go down to 7 health. This is going to be 4, it's going to deal 1. It's not really enough to be able to kill them, unfortunately. I think let's go ahead and also stun these. Don't really want to have our units dying. Not too bad. Uh, Divergent Paths. Wish we could discard this one. 
Hmm. Sure, we don't need the extra draw. They're wanting to end the round. Okay, that's fine with us. We didn't want them to play anything and capture any of our units, so... Yeah, that's not a problem. Alright, let's attack and see if we can just end right here. GG. Nice. Let this draft guide your uh, Janna is a pretty fun, <laughs> crazy champion. Uh, adventure, not bad. I think we'll go for the time trick. Yeah, it's going to give us a crazy amount of draw. All right, Bone Scryer, and at last, they awaken. I've really been liking the Flash of Brilliance, so I think I'm actually going to hold on to those. Uh, we can get rid of the Thermo Beam. Yeah, I'm fine with all these. We can actually play the group shot immediately and then play our Janna. That is, if we had our Janna. Everyone here? Let's go. I came to fight! Alright, so if we played this, we couldn't play our other cards. Uh, we'll get rid of the Howling Gale. Well, we'll get rid of the Thermal Beam. Alright, so it's gonna go down to one. Has regen, though. Alright, so at least we're killing a good amount of air units. Doing this just to make them discard stuff. Alright, this is gonna deal five damage. Let's attack and see how they block. Another obstacle. Alright, perfect. By the strength of our convictions. Alright, so we'll get rid of him. They will be able to buff up their other units, but we don't want this constantly healing their nexus. Yeah, let's go ahead and go here. The damage will reduce them down, so our Heimerdinger will survive. Yeah, we need to get some sustain. We're getting some cost reduction going, we just kind of need our Janna. There we go. Alright, let's play this, get our plunder off. Sure, let's just go for a lot of elusives. Alright, so Janna could still die to that. How about the party trick? They all have regen, which is really a problem. 
Because, like, if we attack with everything, they can then just heal up or buff up all their units. Eh, not great. Alright, let's get rid of this unit here. And now we need some of that extra draw. Storm unrelenting. Oh, we want to scale this up, but they're probably like about to attack. This is going to deal three damage. We don't really have time to scale it up. Let's go ahead and hit their overwhelm unit with it, just so that it's going to deal less damage. In the name of the fallen, you shall not assail them. So ordinary. Oh, so close. Alright, so we're not taking much damage, and we're killing most of their units. Including their two Dawn Speakers, so they can't buff up their whole board. Alright, let's play this right here. Recall a unit with Three or less health. Sure. So this will level up our Janna, all of these cards. Although hopefully Heimerdinger doesn't fill up our hand too much that we can't actually use any of these. Let's use this first. The answer is here, somewhere. We want to get some removal and try to kill their units. The problem is we keep having too many things in our hand. Alright, I think we'll get rid of the Ballistic Bot, and we're just going to play all of these bots we're making. Because one, they're cost-reduced cards, but also they're just filling up our hand too much. Let's see if we can get some removal spells here. <laughs> no, just more slipstreams from all of these guys that were uh, playing. Right, give us something good. There we go. So being able to kill this unit would be quite nice. Swept into the cyclone's fury. All right, we'll just pass. We'll then attack and see if we can end the game. To ease your burden. Wait. 
Okay, GG. Let this grass guide your hand. So, this four damage increases each one of these by four. So it'd be seven, six, and five. That's pretty crazy damage. Production surge would probably be better. Yeah, that's just oh, it's so much removal. Select the card, add two copies to your deck. Summon five random cards. They cost nothing and are fleeting. Yeah, so five cost reduced cards. That sounds good. Your spells cost two less, your units cost one more. So I wanted to get the one where all of the stuff we have cost two less, but I think I'll settle for the price of progress because we might not get the other one with our rerolls. So that's not too bad. Still getting a whole bunch of cost reduction. So the Sting Officer isn't bad. This would let us immediately attack and get our Janna on the board. Higher education though, we do have a ton of draw, so this would give us a lot of damage. I think we'll go with this one here but opposite backup could also be really good. All right, it that stairs with frost gathers. All right, let's get rid of both of these. We want to have them with some cost reduction. Celestial Wonder in our opening hand is pretty good because it's going to be reducing down. And Ballistic Bot is also really solid. Uh, I think we will bank the mana. Again, we don't have our champions, so that really is not great. I think I'll just drop the Ballistic Bot. Alright, deal three to all other units, that's fine. I assume they're going to play something else. And we have some stuns ready for them. Ah, we're just going to immediately stun those. Do not want that attacking. Uh, if we play this, we won't have enough for the Celestial Wonder, which is a little bit sad. So we'll hold off for now. So we could kill it and get a bunch of extra draw. Sure. <laughs> nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and play this. We're really just needing to lean on our spells to get a lot of damage down. Break bone for Troll King Throw. Yes, we'll play this one. Mine is the one well. All right, that's fine. All right, so we can't really attack because they have stronger units with regen. So let's use this here. Go ahead and kill that. We have all these stuns ready to go. I suppose let's stun this one and that one so it can't challenge us. And then we'll see how they attack.
All right, let's go ahead and start working on getting that one killed. Oh, we finally have our Janna. Nice. Sad we have one unit we can't play. I think let's actually get rid of Heimerdinger. You are not alone. The Zephyr heralds the squall. Well, apparently we're just going to be <laughs> stunned the entire time. All right, we can go ahead and use the tre tre treasure trove, see if we get any good spells. The good thing is they only have one card left. Okay, might as well. Grant follows my hand when you play them. Yeah, I don't really want to play that. Uh, yeah, we'll kill their units. We're not perpetually stunned. I just don't want those on my board at all, so we'll just end the round here. All right, let's deal seven to that, six to that one, and sure, five right there. A gentle breeze to ease your burdens. I came to fight. Let us party, most hearty. All right, four to that one. Well, I guess this one is fast. So we are just going to attack. Everything. everything will be transformed into her. So let's actually play this here. Okay, this one's slow. Yeah, with Janna, your matches go so long just because you can keep playing things for essentially forever. The time for calm has passed. Now the tempest awakens. We are pretty low on health though, which isn't great. Let this draft guide your hand. Alright. GG. I uh, definitely don't want to increase that cost. Uh, pranks will be free, so sure, we can go there. Uh, we have no health for the mind meld at all. We have to go right here for the spells. So deal three to a unit, destroy a landmark. This will cost two less. I think let's go for the static shock, gain some extra draw, dealing some more damage. That's okay. All right, with our health, we're probably not going to last very long. <laughs> but let's try to go for the protective broodfather with frost gathers. All right, we have Janna. That's great. Uh, even if we play this, it's going to be down by two. Yeah, we won't be able to get our Janna on the board. She's still going to cost one now. All right, we can drop the Otterpuss. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. Yep, 
Yeah, we can attack like this. Sadly, we won't be able to get Janna on the board. Because that plus one cost. Uh, I think we'll save the Hidden Pathways for a different round. Come hither, you beasts of glory! Alright, let's attack and get rid of her. We'll damage the Nexus. We can then play our Janna. Well, that could be better. All right, let's updraft both the Heimerdingers. Storm unrelenting. My friends, let us revel. We're just going to play as many spells as we can and try to end next round, because, yeah, we are not looking the greatest at the moment. Deal seven to a unit. Sure, let's just get that one down a little bit. Let us party most hearty. The time for calm has passed. Now the tempest awakens. A gentle breeze to ease your burdens. All right, we're playing this because it's fleeting. I am with what you. are we going to get? It both costs nothing. I'll play this, deal damage right here. This is the crazy thing about Janna is just... The amount you can play for free. If there's any units, we won't be able to play them, but yeah, we can see what we get with the tre treasure trove. Uh, this will do nothing. But it's another cost reduced card. Well, we've been able to clear their boards, so they don't have any blockers. And we've been buffed up so much that I think, yes, just attacking, we will end the game. Although, I guess oh, a lot of those were temporary buffs. Sad. Oh, because of how much we're drawing, right? That's fine, though. Alright, GG. Oh, we're just sitting at one health. Uh, if we just had a little bit better sustain, we'd be unstoppable. A uh, true shot, it's fun, but having this at the start of the game, it's not going to cost anything, so that can help us out. I don't think like we can go to Anivia because when she attacks, I think it hits the Nexus. Uh, Trundle with I'm Inevitable. That sounds terrible. All right, let's go for Anivia. We're probably going to, I mean, regardless of where we go, we're probably going to die. So it's just who do we think will be better for our revive? And that will potentially be Anivia. Oh, my word, Parallel Convergence. With doubling dice. Parallel Convergence is one of the most broken cards in the game. Round end, updraft your hand, round start, draw that many cards, plus one. So updraft, shuffle the card into your deck and reduce its cost by one. Sure, let's go for it. It's going to fill up our board, and it's going to add much more of our randomness. But I think it could be fun. Oh, it could really screw us over, though. Whatever, let's go for it. Uh, this going off twice? Yes, please. So round and reduce my cost. It doesn't really matter for us anymore, because our entire hand is going to get updrafted. I think we'll go for the group shot. That going off twice will be pretty good. Again, round end. That's not going to matter anymore because of the Sunken Temple. All right, I think we'll just pass. Soul Gorger, Healer. 
I mean, if we can get to the healer, we will, but we're probably going to die right here. Honestly, all of these don't really help us. Because we're not going to have the mana to play any of them round one. And we get the two things we have Farsight on. Uh, not the best. Alright, let's use this here. Parallel Convergence is amazing, but we don't have anything to play it with. I think I'm going to go for a Flash of Brilliance, just so we can, well, try to get rid of some of their cards. Let's do a slipstream, see what we get. Awesome. Two cards that are now free. Because we've played enough cost reduction. Well, that could be better. But pretty amazing that we're getting some cards on the board. Alright, I don't really want to blow all my mana on this. But I think let's attack and kill that. That way we're not getting stunned. And then sure, let's play this as well. Hey look, parallel convergence. Wonderful. So our doubling dice didn't go off, which isn't great, but we'll play this again. Discard more of their cards. And now we could use True Shot. Uh, our units are now above this. Let's go ahead and do a True Shot here. All right, so we literally almost won in the first round. That's pretty awesome. Now our entire hand is going to get updrafted. Oh, and we're drawing so much. Oh, my word. Um. Okay, that could be better. That's six damage. Yeah, I think let's actually. We will pass. Well, resolve this. We'll let them into our units. We have responses if they try to attack. Okay, we can just kill this. All right, we'll use the time trick, see if we can get anything. All right, we'll skip, see if we draw something good. We're already overdrawing, so we can get rid of some of these. There we go. GG. Flawless victory. Took no damage. Alright, so somehow we were able to make it all the way to the end on a single health bar. Uh, we'll try to heal. Hey, look, back to full health. That being said, Lissandra is going to destroy us. Not only does she have the worst possible power with I Am Inevitable, which is also going to counter all of our poke damage, but she also has the Kneel or Freeze, where each round, after the player plays three cards, their cards cost three more. So that's bad because, one, it's 
reducing our cost reduction. So then we're playing cards that are no longer cost reduced. And then it's just punishing us for spamming. And that's how we're winning. We're just playing so many more cards that the enemy can't even handle it. Uh, so yeah, I don't have high hopes here. Uh, let's get rid of most of these. Also, the bad thing is these sorts of doubling dice or elixir of sorcery. It counts as playing two cards. So not great for us. Oh, these are some good cards I don't want to get updrafted. They have the attack token. Oh, I don't want to play this and buff her up. Let's pass and wait for her to attack. I don't want to buff them up before their attack, so let's hit that one, deal damage to their Nexus, that way we can get our Janna on the board. You called and I answered. Storm unrelenting. And we could have played a bunch more, but all of our costs got increased, which feels pretty bad. We could push so much damage here. Lift us up upon your mighty wings, old friend. Ugh, dealing damage to any of their units is just a bad idea. So this is going to increase our costs. Blown away. All right, let's try to attack. A gentle breeze to ease your burden. Yeah, we can't try to hold on to any of our cards because they're all just going to get uh, redone. Ooh, Parallel Convergence. They're just going to immediately, yep. Still think I want to do this. Because our Janna will at least kill anything. And we could maybe use this to kill that. Swept into the Cyclone's fury! All right, so not absolutely terrible. Deal four to a unit. Yeah, all these are just not really great for us. So yeah, if we play this, it's going to increase all of our costs. So I think... Oh, it's burst speed. Uh, it says set its cost to two. So I'm thinking that maybe... Maybe it will go through the cost uh, increase. At least that's the hope. Oh, these are, nope, all going up. I right, deal five to a unit. So 
So she will be a little bit stronger, but we're still dealing a good amount of damage to her. My tempest shall punish the wicked. We would love to kill her if at all possible. I guess we technically can. A little sad to lose one of our units. Let this draft guide your hand. So I'm definitely worried about them obliterating us, but they're like their frostbites. All pretty much all their spells are fast to burst speed, like other than buried in ice. So I'm worried about them being able to just really make us have a bad day. Ugh, do I even want to spread out the stats at all? I think let's play this first, get some damage down on their. Nexus, and I kind of want to see what they play. Yeah, so if we open attack, they could have just immediately played that regardless, which is what I figured. My friends, let us revel. All right, that's fine. So let's go ahead and obliterate that. All right, parallel convergence. We have another one in hand, but it costs one. Oh, that sucks. Face the whirlwind. All right, so this will buff up their unit a little bit more, but it will buff up ours and deal more damage to the Nexus. Oh, we're in a tough situation. Lissandra just like completely counters what we're trying to do, and she also. has the worst possible power. Let this draft guide your hand. We're, uh, we're drawing too many cards. All right, we're gonna play this. A gentle breeze to ease your burden. Oh, Alright, we're gonna stun both of those. You shall not assail them. And kill that one. Probably pair both of these together to kill that unit. Having another unit on the board is probably worthwhile, though. So we don't have everything on one card. My tempest shall punish the wicked. The good thing is how many cards we were able to make the enemy discard in the beginning. I think that's why we're able to last as long as we have. So here we're just going to. Let this drop. Well, I was gonna say open attack, but we're probably gonna use a parallel convergence.
My wind is at your back. Go! Um... Why are you not entombing the other I one? Breeze to ease your burden. The trolls I are going to don't war. understand why they just entomb that card. I'm not complaining because that means we just won the game, but... Draft guide your hand. Huh, GG. Protect them. All right, so despite being what most people consider a weaker champion and going up against Lissandra with the worst possible power and Lissandra's like basic power hard counters Janna, uh, we were still actually able to come away with a win. So that is pretty awesome. Janna, once you get her going, is incredibly powerful. As you saw at the end, we had some of those uh, missions or battles where we had like one health and we were still able to end incredibly quickly. So. Janna can be pretty nutty once you start giving her some items. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. Again, a special thank you to everyone going out and checking out my other channels. Really makes me happy to see those channels starting to grow and get a lot of views. If you haven't checked them out yet, there's a link in the description down below. And if you like my content and you're subscribed to my main channel, subscribing to these other channels also really helps me out and honestly just makes me really happy as I see the number go up. Thank you for watching though. I hope you all have a great day.